One of the biggest things is, you know, people bring coolers and things of that nature. You want to make sure that your cooler is kept at least 40 degrees or below, and that means that the food in it is kept 40 degrees or below. Um, that's one of the big things. The other thing is you want to make sure that you properly cook your meats, especially chicken. Um, there are several temperatures that you need to, to hit in order to kill the dangerous bacteria or the pathogenic bacteria. Um, and that can be actually found, all of those temperatures can be found on the USDA website. Now in addition to that, um, it's usually a good idea going along with that to actually bring a thermometer with you. Make sure the internal temperature of, of your hamburgers, your steaks, uh, your chicken are cooked properly because um, that can really lead to some pretty nasty uh, digestional issues and, and uh, foodborne illness. If it's 90 degrees or hotter, usually around 45 minutes is the longest you want to let food sit out and that's the extreme. Um, we recommend basically once you're done cooking the product and everyone's been served, um, make sure that you put the food back in some sort of refrigeration, 40 degrees or below. Now you can take that out of the refrigeration and, and heat it up to your desired temperature from there as long as it's been cooked properly um, when you first cooked it. Mayonnaise dishes, you know, pasta salads, potato salads, things like that, are not dangerous if you handle them properly. The biggest thing is you want to keep them cold. Don't leave them out in direct sunlight. Don't leave them out for more than, I'm saying, even a half an hour if it's very warm out. Um, the biggest thing with those is keep them cold. If you can, put a lid on them, put them in some ice, or put them in your cooler. Don't just leave them out top open, things like that. Some foods that you can bring that you don't have to worry about that are things like vinegar-based pasta salads, Italian dressing pasta salads, things like that. You want to designate, um, I know it's not the, most, the best for the environment, but being, bringing paper plates that you can dispose of, that's a lot better than bringing um, you know, ceramic and stuff like that you might get things confused on. So yeah, disposable is better in this case. And you want to make sure that you don't reuse utensils that you used on raw products on cooked products. Using ice that's in a sealed bag is okay as long as it's not dripping everywhere because that uh, water can actually contaminate other foods with, with um, meats and stuff like that. Uh, so what we recommend is just putting or going out and investing in some cold packs that you can reuse over and over again. You freeze those the night before, you put them in your food, or your cooler I should say.